It's that time of year when it starts to get a little nippy outside. And what goes good with nippy outside? A good soup. What kind of soup? You ever go to the uh, hibachi place? They serve that clear soup? That's what we're going to make today. Here on Cook! Don't be lazy! Japanese clear soup or hibachi soup. That's what we're going to make today. Not to be confused with miso soup. This is not miso soup. So we need a sweet onion. We're going to cut it up into big chunks. We need about three carrots. One onion, about three carrots, big chunks. Take garlic, about three or four cloves, smash them. Take some ginger. This is my first time working with ginger and this stuff's pretty strong. So slice up some ginger slices. And I would say maybe inch and a half, two inches worth of ginger is what you're going to use. Get yourself a big pot, preheat it. I've got my stove set to medium. It's been preheating for about three or four minutes, maybe five minutes, who knows. Peanut oil, not vegetable oil, not canola oil. I don't know what other oils they got. Peanut oil. About three tablespoons worth. It's still it's a little hot, but I can handle it. I'm just gonna make sure the bottom is coated. Ow. All right, let's add our veggies. Doesn't matter what order you throw them in. Our onion, carrot, ginger, garlic. This is not on high, this is on medium. Directly on medium. It's set to about five on my stove. So we're going to cook this for about five minutes. We're going to stir it constantly. Every minute or so, every 45 seconds. I don't know. I'm going to eyeball it. And what we're going to do by cooking it, we're going to get all these wonderful flavors to release. So we'll be back in five minutes. About five minutes later, I've been stirring every 45 seconds to a minute. You can see our onions have caramelized. Got some charring on our carrots. Life is good so far. Let's add our, let's add our liquids. We need one container, 32 ounce chicken broth go ahead and turn the stove on high this chicken broth is going to bring the temperature down I want this boiling We're going to use half a container, so about 16 ounces, 32 ounce container, half, 16 ounces, so beef broth. Just going to eyeball it. And that feels like it's half. Eyeball things. All right. So now, I need some water. I'm gonna add two cups of water for now. We're gonna bring this back up to a boil. So it's taking about four minutes for this to start boiling. I'm gonna bring the temperature back down. I'm gonna set it to about a four. I'm 
I'm going to let this cook for about an hour and a half. I'm going to keep my eye on it though. So we're about an hour and a half into cooking this. It's lost a lot of the broth. By the way, if I were to taste this, it'd be very strong. So I'm going to add some water. Now initially we started with two cups of water. And now I'm adding another two cups. We're going to add some salt. We're going to stir this up or we're going to give it a taste test. I want to see if it's still too strong or if I need to make any adjustments with my salt. You're going to salt to taste. Don't double dip. That's, take, that's tasting perfect for me. So at this point, slice up some green onions, some scallions, and get yourself some sliced mushrooms, or you can buy whole mushrooms and slice them up yourself. And let's go ahead and plate up. How we're gonna plate up, we're just gonna take the soup portion, and we're gonna leave the vegetables behind. So we're basically essentially straining it. So, just the soup not the vegetables. Let's plate up. Hibachi soup, Japanese clear soup, doesn't matter what you call it, it's good stuff. One thing, just be mindful that because the carrots are different sizes, your gingers are different sizes, um, your onions gonna be a different size, the brand of beef broth, beef broth that you buy, some might be a little darker, some might be a little clearer. So you're going to have to make some small changes towards the end. That's why I ended up having to add a little extra water to this one here. Anyways, hit that subscribe button. I put out a video every single week. You never know what I'm going to put out next week. So until next time, don't be lazy.